so I've been screwing around with my volcano on my oxygen not included map for a while and I have questions and I'm not happy with the way that the answers are being found and explained on the internets and reddit and whatnot so I, I'm, I'm trying this I'll throw up an image of what uh, I've currently got waiting for one volcano and it's it's enormous but my curiosity is if I set up a stair step versus a snake counterflow exchange, uh, heat exchanger for my crude oil, does it matter? And um, I'm basically going to be testing efficiency two ways. One, how much can I boil off? How much crude can I boil with some magma? And I've got uh, two tiles of uh, 2000 degree magma actually it's cooled off a little bit it's probably just transmitted its temperature into into the diamond tiles here and that's fine the same change should be everywhere um <clears throat> so i have this stair step in this snake each set up with two tiles and over here i have 900 tons of uh crude at 350 and the question is, you know, are they, you know, how much can I do with these two tiles of magma as well as just in case, like, uh, you know, it doesn't, you know, the, the two tiles are, are more than sufficient for that. There's also the question of what's the final petroleum going to be? And so hopefully given an infinite amount of heat, roughly, um, can I do 900 tons of, of crude and also what temperature is the counterflow going to be so i've uh these each sh these heating elements should be each exactly as efficient uh the automation is all the same all i have done is pre-staged them with a ton of petroleum that's been allowed to, to heat up in the system so uh what i do is i set the hydro sensor to 100 kilograms um and so when there's more than 100 kilograms of petroleum which will be because the petroleum has fallen back down, it asks for more crude, and more crude will dribble in. The reason why it's not going in now is because I've set up a little extra bit of automation letting me use the switch as an on-off switch. So it begins, and hopefully this does not screw up. But they've all essentially got the, the same start, so... The thermometer looks for temperatures of 680 because that'll be more than enough to get the, the petroleum boiling without being so much that the petroleum will, will flash into sour gas. And, and so it will go. I do have one issue that I kind of... I'm, I don't know if I should like lift this vent up one unit so that there's a little bit of a drop there. I'm a little bit worried that the crude might become adventurous and instead of falling down, going off to the side. But but who knows? Um, other notes, all of the insulation of, of pipes and tiles is literal insulation. Um, but all of the radiant stuff is non-space material. The pipes are aluminum. The conductors are either diamond or steel. You know, so everything here can be done on a map. The, the reason why I'm using insulation as opposed to, like, mafic or ceramic is because I, I'm curious about the heat efficiency. So, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to let this run, and and we'll see how it goes. Enough petroleum has probably gone through that we can check the temperatures across all the systems to see um, how it's going. I guess again, full speed, it doesn't really matter. So the petroleum here, after going through the counterflow, is coming out at 360, and that's 10 degrees hotter than what's going in. Here with a snake, it's coming out at 370, um, 350, 360, 370. So it seems just as far as which one is better at con 
on uh, transferring heat. The stair step seems to be better. Um, although it is spending more heat to do it. Hmm. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Now granted, there's still plenty of heat in there, but... I did not expect the igneous to form so quickly. Which suggests that this is not more efficient. Hmm. See, this, this up here is 1973. Yeah, this, this temperature differential should be non-existent. So I wonder if this will eventually peter out. Hmm. Anyway. So this has also cooled down enough to turn into rock. This is at 1627 versus 1400, 1350. That's remarkable. Okay, so it seems like we're, I think, uh, eight cycles in, and this law is at 18, uh, 11.8, and this is at 14.3. So, <clears throat> let's see, 5,200. Mm, this is hard, actually, to tell what the average is. Yeah, I'm going to have to go through and, and recalculate the volume after this... Uh, to actually see, but as has been noticed by me anyway, the stair step has run dry several times where it waits for the heat to, to go in. I wonder if maybe I need to lower the temperature on this. I mean, ostensibly it shouldn't matter because the temperature is going to be the same, you know, here is there. But see the temperature of the Patron coming out here is still at 350. Here at 360, 380, 380. So it's been a full cycle now where there's been essentially no movement over here. And the igneous rock is is done. I mean, it'll heat that up in like maybe a little bit, but um it's not going to be enough to get to get this over. I mean, uh melting not melting point. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Crude. There we go. So 673 and I, you might get one more bubble of petroleum out of this um and this last petroleum out here really didn't do a good job of transferring its heat over so um as far as which is more efficient uh considering that this is is done and with the same amount of heat over here i mean you know i still got you know 300 degrees to to go before this um igneous rock is done and the snake is still going. You could make an argument about 
um, you know, the, the snake has a lot more tiles, whereas this is, this is what, nine? This is nine tiles of, of transmissibility? Nine, ten. Um, so this has more time to do it. But the weird thing is, is that here, the petroleum is... It's not that much hotter, you know, than the... The petroleum out of the, the stairs is not... It is cooler, rather, than the petroleum coming out of the snake, which would make you think that the stairs should be more efficient, but it's clearly not. Now, uh, what I was saying about the, the argument about this being such a short distance, whereas the snake has a long, longer time, the, the point behind these is that this is essentially, you know, um, you know a, a nine by nine square, and this is essentially... I mean, I, I, I guess it's it's not quite a nine by nine square, but I could make a nine by nine square work with with the snake and it pouring out the right, the the same side. But you know, so it's it's a size versus efficiency thing. So I think that this is rather rather weird because you'd think that all of the heat from the petroleum is making its way into the crude, and that's that doesn't if my mouth sounds wet it's because it is i decided to eat some graham crackers and i just noticed that this requires comment now the snake build has seemingly stopped the ignis rock is down to 679 same essentially as this here so um, and as far as I can tell, this never did send the last bubble of petroleum off. The crude's still there, heating up. I think it really only needs like another uh, half degree, or no, a little bit more than a full degree, before it would actually uh, convert. So it, it's not really going to happen. Um, it is obvious that this has sent more... Th th that this was the more efficient system, even though here in the snake model, the petroleum is coming out between 370 and 380. And here the petroleum is coming out between 350 and 360. Again, given an input of uh, 350 degree crude. So this seems weird. I mean, thermodynamics says that if, you know, I'm pulling more heat out of it through the the snake but it's not working um i'm gonna go ahead and uh freeze as in lower the temperature of this uh down so i can count up the volume freezing wasn't the right way to go about it so i went back and and just watched the footage and counted the days for the two tiles of magma attached to the stairs it took two and a half cycles to turn to rock the magma attached to the snake took four and a quarter days to turn to rock. The heat from the uh, from the two tiles of magma for the stairs lasted for 14 cycles, or days, and the two tiles of magma lasted for 24 cycles for the snake. Um, so, I mean, you can kind of pretend that it was pumping out 10 kilograms a second that whole time, but of course it wasn't, you know, to figure out how much how long that lasted, but it's that part's not relevant. I mean, we're looking just at the efficiency and, and, uh, and yeah. So anyway, I do go on to explain why this happens in the next bit of video. So I started fighting around more with the, the system. I decided to check and see, um, you know, the, the length of the system, whether or not that makes a difference or not. And uh, it does and it doesn't. I set up this system just below, which is essentially a, a carbon copy of this, except that I set up pipes to inlet, you know, straight on in, and then just with, you know, removing one U from the snake. And check the, the, the temperatures. And 
well, I mean, I mean, let's let's just look. This is coming out at uh, 353, which uh, really isn't bad. Why is it so close now? Hmm. Okay, so, I mean, this is, I guess, very efficient now. And here it's coming out at 390. Whereas here, I mean, the petroleum comes out, it's 370. Is this... Why is this bottom one so much more efficient? Hmm. I don't see. No, I, I think it's just variations because now this is down to 370 and this is up to 370. So um, anyway, long story short, I counted up uh, in the frame where you saw this you know, pop up again, how much petroleum there is in the, in the snake or the stairs from here to here. And there was about a hundred kilograms. Um, I'm being generous in my estimates, but it was about a hundred. I mean, I know the petroleum settles at 740 kilograms per tile, but, um, you know, that's, it, it's, it was only about a hundred from top to bottom. And from here, you know, it just, Looking along at the amount of petroleum coursing through here, on this row alone, you have 100 kilograms at least. I mean, here we have 34, 32, you know, another 30. I mean, th this is 100 kilograms. So this is a ton more petroleum going through. And so even if it comes out hotter at the end of these snakes, um... That's why it's more efficient. Although when you, you know, you look at the temperature here of, of, you know, these hundred kilograms of crude coming out. So, you know, so close to the, the input temperature. Well, it's because there wasn't very much thermal energy to begin with. And whereas with a snake, because you have these long horizontal sections, um, you know, a ton of, of petroleum can pool. And even though there will be equalization from one end over here to the other, so that this is really only what one, two, three, four, five, uh, five temperature steps. You know that it, that you get to equalize. Whereas here you would ostensibly get more. There is so much more petroleum coming out here. You know, sitting on top of the crude going in, that that it's just able to. You know, exchange so much more heat. Plus, that also exchange it explains why this is so much hotter. Because there is so much more petroleum, it, it doesn't have the opportunity to dump as much of its heat in. So that is why the snake uh, ended up doing so much, uh, producing, uh, processing so much more than than the stair steps. And if people already all knew all this, I'm good for you. Um, I actually needed to build it out and find out for myself.